Hi guys! Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a little room tour of the quarantine room that I'm staying in in South Korea. It is pretty small, so I don't think it's going to take a lot of time to show you guys the room. But I still want to make a video and just show you guys where I'm going to be spending two weeks. Even though I already spent one week, I still need one more week to go. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing the room, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is the door and this is what you see when you walk in. To the left, you have this thing where you have to put in your key or your card and you have to have it in at all times. If you don't, you can't really control like the lights and I don't even think you can control the temperature of the room. Another thing that they mention is if you don't have it in for like a couple of minutes, they're gonna check up on you because it could mean that you're not in the room and obviously you're not supposed to get out so that needs to be in at all times and then on this side you had some light switches and then here you have a closet I didn't really put any clothes here just because I didn't really want to like undo my luggage and they have to do it again whenever I leave the quarantine room since I'm not gonna like stay here yeah I just don't have anything here and then down here there's a little mini fridge and then when you open this, you go to the restroom. Hello, turn that on. And this is the restroom. The toilet's right there. And then you have this thing that gives you like different options. Personally, I haven't tried any and I don't know if I am. I just, I don't know. <laughs> and then there's the sink area, um, all my skincare stuff. Over here, there's a hair dryer, dirty towels, my straightener. Um, they do provide towels for you, but I did bring my own. And then over here, you have the bathtub, which just looks like that. They also provide like shampoo and body wash, just in case you didn't bring any. Um, this is what it looks like. My favorite part about it though is this. part of the whole room like just oh my god my nail sorry just look at how pretty that looks yeah very nice and then you walk over here that's trash sorry ignore it but there is this little like couch thing and a table which is perfect because this is where i sit down to eat my food and then you have a view and then over here I have a coloring book and then all of my snacks um, just because I do get hungry even after I eat. And then there's the TV, the bed, <laughs> and I have all of my luggage over here and then a window. And this is pretty much it. This is what it looks like, but yeah. My room tour video was only like three minutes, so I decided to include a Q&A and answer some questions that you guys had about my trip to South Korea. So let's just get right into that. The first question is why I came to South Korea. So first of all, I've always wanted to travel. Literally one of my goals is to travel to as many places as I can. But ever since I became a BTS fan, my interest in visiting South Korea became bigger. So yeah they were the main reason why i decided to look into coming to south korea but then it's a beautiful country beautiful culture i love the language and the food so i'm actually really excited to be here so now going into the quarantine questions is the first one did you know you had to quarantine yes i knew i had to quarantine i did my research and i saw that it was a requirement so yeah i was prepared to quarantine why are you in quarantine? Why do you have to quarantine if you're negative? And how long do you need to quarantine and is it necessary? Yes, even if you're vaccinated, even if you provide a negative COVID test, you still need to quarantine. That's just a requirement that they have. It's mandatory. So if you are thinking about coming to South Korea, you do have to quarantine for two weeks. Do they just provide you with a free room for quarantine? It's not free. Uh, when you get to the airport, they do send you to the government facility where you're going to be quarantined, but you do have to pay for it. 
so once you're out of quarantine you need to stay in another place yes wherever you are quarantining that's just to quarantine and then you do have to have either another hotel or an airbnb to stay afterwards and now we're going to talk about pricing so the first one is how much did the airplane ticket cost you it costs like a thousand one hundred and then how much did i pay for quarantine so i actually got really lucky because you can pay from 1400 up to 2100 obviously you want to prepare yourself to pay 2100 just because that's the most and you don't know how much you're gonna pay until you're at the hotel paying but yeah i got really lucky and i only ended up paying 1400 for my quarantine how much should someone save up if they want to travel to South Korea? So if you do want to travel to South Korea while you still need to quarantine, you do have to keep in mind that the plane ticket and quarantine is going to be like $3,000 altogether because the plane ticket is like around $1,000 and then for quarantine, you don't know how much you're going to pay, but you do want to make sure you have up to like $2,000 because it might be, it can be $2,000. So that together is already $3,000. Plus you are gonna have to pay for somewhere to stay afterwards. I don't know how much that's gonna be because I'm gonna stay with my friends so I don't have to worry about paying for another hotel or for an Airbnb. But let's just say that's like $1,000. And then whatever you plan on spending outside, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not out there yet, but I heard it's not that expensive but it also depends on the things that you want to do and the things that you want to buy. So I would say to be safe, like $5,000. But like I said, that is with quarantine. Because of quarantine, everything's a lot more expensive. I know people that traveled before quarantine and they pay like $3,000 for like the whole trip. So yeah, the quarantine right now is like the reason why it's so expensive. Okay, so how do you not go crazy being locked up? To be honest, I am such a homebody like when I'm home I'm usually always in my room not doing anything so this is not this is not new to me I'm actually used to not doing anything so it's not terrible for me that's why I haven't gone crazy just because I'm used to not doing anything at home what do you do all day long honestly mornings are my favorite because it's still early at home and I get to face my mom I'm usually on FaceTime with my friends and they keep me company all morning it's not till like after 3 p.m my time that i start to get a little bit bored because everyone back home is asleep and i just don't have anyone to talk to so what i do is just like watch tiktok watch youtube videos um i have a coloring book that i brought from home and i just color and then eat <laughs> that's pretty much it i have been going to sleep really early i go to sleep like at 9 p.m and then i wake up like at 4 or 5 in the morning and then when I wake up, like, I have people to talk to. So, yeah. Now, talking about the food. How is the food? It's actually not that bad. I am very picky. And I really thought I was going to be, like, starving. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to like the food. But it's not bad. I've tried everything. And I've liked most of it. The only thing is it might be a little bit cold. But if you're hungry, you're going to eat it. And then what has been my favorite meal? I will put a picture right here of what my favorite meal has been. It was just so good. They gave like a little sauce with it. And that sauce was so good and spicy. Definitely like my favorite thing. Who brings you the food or how's that process like? So basically they give breakfast at 8 in the morning, lunch at 12 in the afternoon, and then dinner at 5 in the afternoon. And they just make an announcement and they say that the food is outside your room. So yeah, you just open the door and you get the bag and come back inside. How do you ask for more essential items? So they do give you a number that you can call at any time and just ask for what you need. I haven't really needed anything other than trash bags. So I called once and they speak English and they ask what you need. And I told them I needed trash bags and they asked how many and then they brought them for me. So yeah. What would you recommend taking with you to South Korea? So I don't think this is something that you can bring with you, but I would say have a plan. There is so many things to do here. So make sure you do research and you know for sure what you're going to be doing the days that you're going to be here just because I'm not good at planning. And this is like my first time traveling. So I, I didn't have anything in mind, but thankfully my friend that traveled with me, she's really good at planning and organizing. So 
We literally have a thing to do from the moment we leave quarantine to the moment that we go back to the airport. Like she was so good. If it wasn't for her, like I would probably waste a lot of time just trying to figure out what I want to do. So yeah, I would say have a plan. Make sure you plan everything that you want to do and where you want to go. So what am I doing after quarantine? So basically, we have a lot of things planned. We're going shopping, we're going to museums, we're going to cafes, obviously restaurants, and we are doing a lot of BTS related stuff, like maybe go to places where they've been or just things like that. I'm so excited. I am gonna try to vlog as much as I can so you guys can see, make sure you subscribe so you guys can see what I do. <laughs> And then the last question is, how does it feel to be so far from home? I love you too, Ashley. And honestly, it hasn't hit me. I don't feel any different. I Like, it hasn't hit me that I'm in another country on the other side of the world. It just doesn't feel like it yet. But I know that as soon as I get out of quarantine, it's going to hit me. And I'm going to be like, wow, like, I'm actually here. It's gonna be crazy. I can't wait, you guys. Those were all of the questions. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos from me, especially once I'm out of quarantine, make sure you subscribe. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.